We got my wife a new computer and also a new monitor and it came with this stand and this stand made the monitor sit about two inches off the desk so the bottom of the monitor was somewhere down here and as you can also see this stand takes up roughly half the surface of the desk um, so yeah I mean and then we were sticking books underneath it which took up more space and made the thing unstable so yeah, this was not a good option. Now I'd seen these monitor swing arms before and never really used one, but I uh, thought I'd give it a try. It's really convenient. It allows you to tip the monitor. You can show other people. You can tip it forward and backwards. This one's still a little stiff. It's like just a couple days old. Uh, you can swing it out of the way uh, like this. You can just put it all the way out of the way if you want and tip it all the way to the other side of the desk. Um, anything you need to do, it's uh, really very convenient. And let me get it all the way out of the way. So like this, you can literally just clear your desk off. So really, yeah, it really works well, uh, so well that we bought a second one, and we'll go over installing that one and uh, see how that works. Okay, let's do some close-ups and take a look at the features of this particular one. Let's look at the full range of motion. This will go all the way over here like we had it before, so it's off the desk by about half the monitor. Uh, it'll go here. It'll go all the way up here, so I mean, the person standing, and you can look at it literally standing. Um, you can bring it back to the center of the desk and bring it up and down. Uh, if you are far-sighted like I am now, you can push it farther away. And as you're working, if you want to look at a detail, you can easily pull it up and you can push it back out of the way and continue working. So that's a very nice feature. I really like that. Um, also, it, you know, between one person, my wife's much shorter than I am, and a taller person, it's easy just like this to move the monitor to, so that your eyes are in the center of it without uh, horsing around with screws or books or something to to change the height of the monitor. I should also mention that this particular swing arm model allows you to use the monitor in a vertical format. So if you do a lot of word processing and you prefer to have your page longwise like this, or uh, doctors and dentists oftentimes use it like this for x-rays, uh, this particular swing arm model will do that. A friend of mine asked why get a I get a desk mount. I drill a hole in your desk. Uh, why not just get a wall mount? The wall mounts are a lot easier to find and you know you just like put four holes in the in the wall and then okay you're set. But uh, the reason I didn't do that is because let's say we wanted to move this desk over a foot then what happens? Well okay then I gotta re-drill the holes. With a desk mount like this if I move the desk over a foot the monitor goes with it. I never have to do all the readjusting and remeasuring and so forth. So this is why we went with this style and not with the more popular wall mount. This is the model we chose for that uh, monitor arm and it's a North Bayou and it's a model F100. They have several models but this is the one we chose. Let's do some unpacking. Uh, the first thing we see we should notice is it has a warning tag and this thing is spring-loaded. Uh, it has two dangers. One of them is the if you uh, let go of the arm, if you compress the arm and then let go of it, it will come back at you. I mean it's enough to put out an eye or really cause some serious facial injury. So yeah, you definitely want to uh, be careful about that. The other thing is it will really pinch you. I mean if you get your finger in one of these uh, joints, like I did, it will leave you black and blue or take a chunk of skin out. So those are the two precautions. Um, let's see, okay, it uh, gives some pretty good instructions in both English and Chinese depending on your preference. On top here are two USB cables so I can show you that later in the base of, of the uh, arm is a, there are two ports rather for USB and so that's very convenient. And then here, this is a back cover for one of the options. Okay, let's continue. In the bottom here is 
the uh, is the actual arm itself. You can see here this is the back mounting plate. Now most of the uh, monitors today have standardized hole placement and they're about 10 centimeters apart and yeah so this comes with the screws and everything you'll need for the back of your monitor but you'll want to check with, on your monitor to make sure you have those uh, mounting screws. This is the monitor where we're going to add the arm. You can see the books piled up under here and here are the screw holes I'm talking about. There should be four of them and there's a standard distance uh, 10 centimeters typically on these uh, to match up with the holes on that mounting plate. Okay, it comes with a clamp style mount and this is a very heavy duty clamp. Let me show you one I had out of the box already. This is it. This is the cover we saw on top. You use that to uh, contain your cables and to cover the back of the clamp. Very heavy duty clamp. Personally, I don't like to trust clamps. I mean after a while they come loose and and what have you and um, yeah I just uh, I, I don't trust clamps but this is probably one of the best I've ever seen so if you're gonna if you're gonna use a clamp this would be the one so that's the clamp here this is the arm the arm comes with a safety strap a velcro safety strap here and again this thing's under under compression when you release it it'll really jump so it's made to hold the weight of a monitor on it and without the weight of the monitor on it this thing will really will really uh, go. Uh, it has mounting hardware to put a hole through your desk and mount it that way. So it's got all the necessary mounting hardware. This goes on the bottom here. Uh, this goes underneath the desk. Again we'll show you that. Here's the long bolt. Uh, here are the monitor screws. It includes different monitor screws. Uh, ones for the smaller holes, the bigger holes, and then these go in the bottom to hold this plate on. They even give you the tools, so all you need that's not included is a Phillips head screwdriver. So yeah, it's a very, very well thought out kit. If we look at the base of this, you'll see there's three threaded screw holes right there. And depending on which mount you use, You'll either put this on here and screw it down in there. So this is the clamp. And this is where you would bolt the base of it. And as you can see down here, it's, it's, it's a very robust clamp. Again, I'm not a, a fan of these things. This one does come with a nice uh, safety screw hole. You can drill a hole into the edge of your desk, put in a nice big screw. That way if the clamp comes loose, the monitor probably won't come crashing down. Uh, uh, but what might happen is it also might put enough stress on the screw just to chip up the edge of your desk, just to break the edge of your desk upward. You'll put this plate on here, this way, with these two holes up. These two holes will match there. And then you'll drill a hole in your desk and run this long screw through it. Use this uh, washer-like device on the other side of the, of the top of the desk and bolt it in place that way. And that's what I'm going to do. I really like that. It doesn't require a really big hole and uh, it, it's never going to come loose. It's never going to cause the monitor to fall over. One of the most difficult things about mounting this swing arm is deciding where to put it. So what I've done right now is I put that clamp on the bottom so that I can kind of get a feel for where everything's going to be. This thing moves in three dimensions. Uh, it moves towards you like this, it moves up and it moves down. It'll move all the way off to the right. And every time it moves, like as it moves towards you, it's actually getting shorter. It's moving that direction. So that's one of the tricks is deciding where you want it. That's what I use that clamp for is putting it there, testing it, let who's ever going to be using this computer decide, oh, okay, this is where I want it, this is not where I want it. And then we can punch the hole in it. Okay? For right-handed people, you're going to have the keyboard over here. You're going to have the mouse off to the right. And typically, you want the monitor basically in front of the, the keyboard, which is going to put this thing way over here. Now, when I bend it down, it's going to move over a bit. I've got to watch I don't pinch myself. But... As I move it, it does go over just a bit. So, you know, maybe a couple inches. It comes over to about here. Not very far. 
So again, this is the tricky part. Uh, this thing moves in three dimensions. It's moving on an arc. And so where you place that base depends on how far to the left and to the right you're going to be able to use that monitor. Plus the fact, again, in order to prevent, you know, like carpal tunnel injuries and repetitive motion and all that from being misaligned and craning your head or moving your arms and hands in unnatural ways, you're going to want that monitor roughly centered here. So right now I've got it off to the right a little bit too much. But the next step is to allow the person who's going to use this setup to sit down, give it a try and see if, okay, this is where I want the monitor. This is not, this is where I normally sit. This is where I don't. I'm going to use it more to the right side or to the left side, what have you. And then once we know all that, once we get their personal feedback in the thing, then we start marking and drilling holes or drilling a hole. The base of this arm has a luxury item. It has uh, a built-in USB port, two of them actually. And we have to install that before we put the base plate on there. Uh, the female port will go out facing the person using the computer. If you have any question on which one's the female, it's the one if you plug in your keyboard or whatever, it will go in here. Uh, or your thumb drive. Um, or, in other words, if you go like this with a cable, the other end of the cable, it's the one around the outside, it's the bigger of the two. So this is the one that will be facing out. It's easiest to place these USB plugs into the stand like this and then just screw this plastic cover over it. You can see the screw holes, one, two, and screw it back on over there and it'll hold them in place. And this is what they look like when they're in place. And before we install this metal plate back here, we're going to have to remember to run these wires underneath here like that and then the metal plate will bolt down with these three screw holes. So here we are with the metal plate installed. That uh, big bolt is through there. This wing nut and this plate right here will go on the other side of the hole and together that will clamp the base to the desktop and now it's time to do that. The uh, X right here is where we're going to drill. This is the back edge of the desk, so there's a kickboard back underneath there. This is the edge of it. It doesn't come out to here. So, I need to have space to mount our piece right here. And it will go here, like this. Actually, it goes like that underneath there. The hole will go down here. This will be the edge of the kickboard, so I've got space in there. And then this should give me enough space for the uh, for the back edge of the foot of the arm. And yeah, so right now we need to drill a hole. The only trick of drilling a hole is to make sure it's the right size. Plus, you get the hole straight up and down. If it's crooked, yeah, it causes a little bit of problems. I did that on the first one. So, okay, now we drill the hole. I should mention that using this thing, if you have those cable holes already in your desk, uh, the, those round cable holes, this thing is supposed to be able to hold uh, the arm. And that's why the shape of this thing, it'll go up in there and, and hold that. But anyway, we don't have that, so we drilled our own hole. And the hole is uh, five and a half centimeters from the back edge, and then 69 centimeters from the left edge is where it worked out. Here we have it in position. Our wires are as they should be. They're underneath the plate coming out of those holes. The bolt comes down through here and is secured at the desk. We could cut this off if we wanted to to make it look better. But uh, yeah, that's it for mounting it to the desk. Okay, let's get the monitor in position. So what I'm gonna do is, I've already got these two screws started in the back of the monitor right here. I'm gonna hang them in this notch and then I will put the other two screws down through these holes here and here and that will secure it in place. This is where we need the Phillips head screwdriver. So it's like this. You may say, oh, I've left the base on there. That's so I can take this on and off and set it out of the way. The last thing I do is remove the base um, because while I'm working, you know, I can just take it off, set the monitor down, don't have to worry about damaging it. It's sitting on the on a 
base and it's not going to fall over or damage the screen. There. There. this and like that okay now it's in place I can move it around and I can remove this I can remove this base off of here now we take off the base and our monitor is almost ready to go. You say, what's left? Well, the cables. And something nice about this is there's a cable run through here. So let's put the cables on it, plug it in, and we should be done. And here we are with the cables installed. And it's got a plastic clip to keep the cables out of the way. Um, all mounted up. And let's take a look at it. And here it is, ready to go. It'll go down. Up, it's got all the tilts. It'll go out of the way this way. We can swing it all the way over. Moving our pencil box, we can move it all the way this way. Still a little bit stiff, but it will go all the way to this corner. And that's about uh, as good as you can get for versatility and ease of use. Okay, well I hope you found this useful and interesting in your home DIY computer projects.